Today we're going to have a couple of hunts with our uh, Tika 223. One's a uh, hog hunt and one is a coyote hunt. I don't know if you saw our previous two videos, but we had a, a couple of videos telling you how we upgraded the uh, Tika T3 light with a KRG stock. Uh, it's the Bravo model. We had Chemworks in Jefferson, Georgia uh, thread the barrel for us. And we also added a KRG rail so that the system would work with our trap light setup using the really right stuff clamp mount. And so far everything is working out great. Uh, we have a couple of hunts for you, but we want to thank you for uh, supporting us. And we ask you to subscribe and hit that little notification bell. Hope you enjoy the hunts. <laughs> I thought you said shoot when you want to. I said shoot when you want to and count now. <laughs> Try about that. <laughs> okay, here we are on our first coyote hunting adventure with the Tika 223. I have a uh, Pulsar Thermion XQ50 mounted on it. We're loaded up with uh, Hornaday 55 grain VMAX. And we have a coyote coming in. He came from about a quarter of a mile away, all the way across this cornfield. He zigzagged his way in, then he started working downwind. And I was, uh, I was afraid he was going to smell me before I actually got a shot at him. But uh, let's see what happens. The Ticket T3 did its job tonight. I was real happy with the way it performed. Um, the chassis, the magazine, along with the Thermion XQ50 worked really well. Now, if my shooting improves, maybe I can uh, get a clean kill on the first shot next time. So please come back and visit the Old Deer Hunters and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell down there to, so you'll know when we're having uh, new videos up. I try to get a new video up every week, sometimes a few shorts in between. So thanks for watching and please subscribe and come back and see us.